Hello everyone, and today we are back for another Lumia Legacy PvP video, and today we are showcasing Boonary. I haven't used Boonary in a long time, so I wanted to see how it does now, and I'm very excited to use it. The rest of the team is Chironix, Seer Knight, Terraclaw, Cosmere Cracked, Totemochi, and Zulong. So with that out of the way, let's just head right into the battles. Alright, we're into battle number one with Funeri, and let's see what this team is. He has a Chironix, which is really scary. Also, I do not have a single plant type on the team, so that's going to be very fun against Flash and Flea users, but thankfully this team doesn't have any. There's Villa Forge, there's a Zulong, a lot of threatening Lumians. We definitely got to be very careful. I think I'm going to lead off with Funeri and just see what he leads off with. Uh, Zulong looks really good in this battle, especially for, like, Pivot. I don't have Pivot. No, I do have Ancient Roar. Okay, I do have Ancient Roar. I'll bring you for the Zulong and the Windolin. And I'll bring... Bring you for that thing, although I give you plus one boost, so that's kind of scary. I would rather just do that, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna bring in Mimochi because there's a bunch of range attackers I can utilize it with, so... We'll lead off with the Boonary and see if we get a good matchup. Here we go. Zulong lead. That's awesome. We get to see what this Zulong is. So, are you a Boots one? Or are you not a Boots one? Let's see. So, let's see. I have specialty Boots. And I assume you are not a Boot Zulong. So, I'm going to stay in and click Elemental Burst. And get out of here, Zulong. Zulong might already be out of... Are you kidding me? Really? And I just lost Boonary already. Yep, that's my RNG. That's my RNG. Arctic Pearl Zulong. To be fair, I probably should not have played like that, but still. Arctic Pearl Zulong. Well, you know what? I'm just going to go for a Magnify Sweep, because guess what? You got rid of the Showcase Lumion. And I'm really upset by it. I don't even care that Sea Drake's even in the game. I get a plus two, and I have Frost Beam, which one shots your Sea Drake. So, get out of here, Sea Drake. Thorn Slam. Does a ton of damage, but I think I one shot you. I hope so. I mean, this is a plus two, and you have no range defense. So, yeah, Sea Drake's out of the picture. Awesome. I get some more. I get some health back, and yeah, now you're in trouble now. Your Zulong's low. I think I'm in a pretty good spot at just sweeping right here. No, he has a guard drone. Never mind. Yeah, this thing's going to be very fun to beat. This thing is going to be very fun to beat. Just going to go into Tower Claw because it's the best option we can have, even with its other thing. Yep. Even with this move, it's still the best option. I should be able to live one Frost Beam, so I'm just going to go for Bane Baneful Bash, and that's so... He doesn't get a uh, plus one boost. Because I assume this is Clutch Rateful Plushy. So yeah, I'm just going to go for our Baneful Bash here. Just to do a little bit of damage. I don't want to give it a plus one. So yeah, there's that. Go into Zulong. Go into Zulong now. Oh, he slept out. Me too. Fill Forge. Alright, that's okay. I'll take that. I don't really have anything for it, though, so that's going to be kind of fun. I don't really have anything for Bill Forge, so that kind of sucks. I'm just going to go for an Ancient Roar, I think. So yeah, I'll Ancient Roar. Bang. I'll Ancient Roar it. And then I'll go for the... I think i go for the Tronix play here. Uh, no, I'll go for Terra Claw just to damage the Villa Forge. I'll be a plan. I want to damage the Villa Forge at least a little bit, so yeah, I'll be what I do. Yeah, Earthquake, gotcha. Does no damage, so that's good. Although, a Kindled Rage is coming right at us, so yeah. That does kind of stink. Let's see, do you have... You should have Kindled Rage. I would be shocked if you don't have it. He swapped again, actually. In a Tyrannus. This thing's gonna be a pain in the butt to beat, it looks like. Yeah, Tyrannix is gonna be a pain in the butt to beat, it looks like. But I think I have the stuff for it, so... 
I think I have the stuff for it, though. I actually outspeed the Chur on it, so that's cool. I get to do a little bit more damage. It will take me out with Frostbeam, but that really doesn't matter. Uh-oh, that does matter. That does matter, though. That does matter. I still have my Trump card, though, so I'm still in an okay position. I still have my Trump card. I'll go for another pair of surprise. That will take out the Chironix. I'm kind of shocked that I outsped the Chironix. I kind of just got my Terracall back into the battle. I still can't believe I lost Boonary right off the bat. I'm really upset by that. But, you know, when I use Showcase Lumians, it's just how it goes sometimes. By the way, what's the blue thing on the side? Is this a button? Like, is this a pop-up? I don't know what this is. There you go. There is... I'll just rough up. I'll just get rid of the guard drone. Because this thing is very threatening. If I can just get rid of this, I'll be in a great spot for the rest of the battle. Terraclaw clutching up in a battle. Wow. I'm actually kind of legitimately shocked how well it's doing here. Villa Forge is still a massive threat, though. So we got to be very careful with it. Especially since my clutch plush does not work against it. I don't know why he's bringing in the Zulong, but okay. That's basically just a free weight. And it may be a Parasitai, so I don't understand that play at all. And your Arctic Pearl, so you're not going to do that much to me. So I'll just Parasitize and then I'll use a Cyclone Slam and just say goodbye to the Billa Forge. I don't know why he's sacking his Zulong now. He could have saved this for later. Because if he kept his... Yeah, he forfeited it. Let's head it to battle number two. All right, battle number two at Boonary. That first battle didn't go well because of an Arctic Pearl Zulong, but this battle looks a little bit better. There is a Stratosaur, which does stink. I don't really have anything for it, so that's going to kind of suck. I'll bring Tyrannix. Pretty much forced to bring Zulong and this, just for extra backup for the Stratosaur. There's also a Ferroglyph, which I don't know what his Ferroglyph's going to do to me, but i got to be very careful with it. Ah, uh, I can I could definitely bring you, but I don't know if it's the best option. I don't really have any dark type moves besides Serenite. Maybe I just bring Serenite and go for the Raidful and try to get Raidful plushie off on the Luminami. It's not a bad idea. But not over the Zulong. But not over that neither. Not to mention there is a Barok, which kinda just throws everything off. Uh, no me mochi. Probably a big mistake, but we're doing it. Oh, he let off Borok. Oh, no. He let off Borok. Please give me the plus one boost first. Please give me the boast boost first. I hope I do. Please. Aw, oh, really? Oh, no. We both get minus boost. Okay. We both get minus boost. And we know what set you are. You're set up set. You are set up for Ox set, which is good to know, but you probably, you don't have Body Crash, which is good. I'm just going to go with an Earthquake, because I kind of don't know what to do here. He actually just swapped out into a Citrogon, which Earthquake is not contact based, so, so still do a little bit of damage. And I'll go into my Chironix here. Chironix is free, so I'm just going to go into it now. And that's so, if this thing clicks Drudge, it's not going to own us right off the bat. There we go. Oh, no, he went Stratosaur. Oh, he went back into this stupid thing. I don't think Borok one-shots me, so I'm just going to go with a Frost, babe. <laughs> I don't think it one-shots me. I actually outspeed this thing, which that's good. I will do a lot to it. Oh, it's not, a, it's not light speed ray range, unfortunately. Nope, it's not. It's not light speed ray range. It's not at all. <laughs> it's not at all. I don't want to lose you, but it looks like I might have to lose you. We'll just go into Terra Claw. Dang it! That's what happened. I thought I was going to do way more. But, oh, he swapped out. Don't be Stratosaur. It's Stratosaur. Yeah, we're screwed. I don't think we're winning this battle at all. We'll just go for a rough up. Because... I don't know what set this Stratosaur is. I don't know if this is a taste set. I don't know if this is a magnify setting set. Last thing I want to do is swap into something and then get totally screwed. So I'm just going to stand in this matchup. It's magnify. Well, we are in big trouble. We do get a rough up off, but it literally does nothing. So that's brilliant. We're kind of screwed now. 
Although I think we're okay. I think if we... S I have an idea. You keep setting up Magnify, so... I think I have a fun idea for the Stratosaur. I'm just gonna keep clicking Gruff up. With Metal Blast. I think I live. Yeah, I live to hit! Wah ha ha ha! And now, one of two things are gonna happen. He either heals up now, or... I think, I really do feel like he's gonna heal. So I'm gonna go into Zulong. This is a big play. I feel like he's healing. He's gonna attack. Yeah, of course! He attacks! He attacks! And guess who I lose? I lose Zulong. Brilliant! That's awesome! Even though he probably has perch. Let me guess, this is gonna be one that doesn't have perch? Watch, no perch. No perch at all. Bang, I'm in. No perch. Watch. He does have perch and goss, so he doesn't have air blade. I'll metal blast. Please take out the Stratosaur. This has to please. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Did that really not KO it? This is a I this is plus four. This is a plus four Stratosaur. And it's not doing enough damage? Really? It's always this. Like, can this thing just die? Ah, oh, I hate this. Pain in the butt. Nothing I can even do about it. Just a pain in the freaking butt. It's Stratosaur. It always is. He attacks me that turn. Yeah, he attacks me that turn. At least it's doing as much to me as it's doing to it itself. To be fair, we could just go see and and just win the game if we play this right, but... Yeah, we're screwed. I don't think there's any way we win this anymore because of the because of the shenanigans. There we go. We'll go into you at least. We'll go for a drudge. Maybe he'll just give it to us. I He won't. I'm going for it. Wow, okay, he rested. He rested, okay. He rests it. I get a drudge up. I get a drudge up, which that's good. Gonna go for the Stirring Steel in case he goes into his Obsidragon. So I feel like he's gonna do it on this play. I'm feeling Obsidragon. And yeah, yeah, it doesn't do it. I, I don't know why he's staying into the stupid thing. But yeah, it's, it's his decision. I'm just screwing myself up at this rate. He's trying to get me in a quick pounce range. That's what he's doing. I'll start to steal again. Dang it! Like, why is he staying into the Stratosaur at this moment of the game? I'm at plus one. Doing damage. I have Flaming Kick. You have an Obsidragon. But you're not swapping into it. I don't understand. And it's screwing me up. Like, he just keeps clicking Metallica Blast. And now it's in quick pounce range for Bora. Ah, it sucks. A pain in the butt. I don't know why he stayed in this matchup, but he did, and it screwed me up. It just me up as well. So, yeah. Now I'm screwed. I'm in trouble now. There's no way I'm going to win this battle now. There's Illuminami. I'm just going to get free damage on it while I can. I'll go for a slap down. I'll at the very least get rid of its item, which will be something. But there's nothing else we can really do. If this thing's still alive, there's nothing we can really do. Actually, did a lot of damage. Oh my gosh. Mysterious Dust? Okay. Alright. Wave Wrecker? It's a melee Illuminami. Okay. Well, what do I do here? I'll go Boonary. I hope you have Mega Chomp, so I can actually just KO you, but probably won't. It's gonna mess us up, probably. Okay, you do have Mega Chomp. I'm willing to click it. I'm willing to click it. He stated, please take out the Luminami, just please. It could just never be at no. Okay, he flinched. He could just never be at no health, though. Like, it can never just be dead. It has to live at no health. And now he's just gonna go and upset it on it. I think he wins from here. Like, he wins from here. There's kind of nothing I can really do about it anymore. Like, I still have Boonary, so it's good. Like, that's good to keep. But, 
I don't think we're going anywhere anymore. The only thing I can really hope... I'm gonna have to sack Terraclaw and hope for the best. Like, that's really all I have left. Body Crash KOs me. I could have went into Tyronix there, but... I thought he was gonna predict it. He didn't, but we'll go for the Tyronix play here. Nova Blast coming in hot. Nova Blast coming in hot. So, please. I need this. I really do need this outspeed. Yeah, I outspeed it. It takes out the Obsidragon. That's a huge KO for me. That's a really huge KO for me. I needed that. I needed that KO. Now I have enough health that a quick counts will KO me. Luminami can still come in now. Still has Venolin too. He still has Venolin. God dang it. Should have saved Terraclaw. Now I'm kind of screwed. Gonna go into Lunari. I don't even care if I underspeed everything now. If I just go into this, it just... I don't know what to do from here. We'll see. We'll see what we do from here. I'm gonna have to do something with this Venolin. It's Charade. Has Charade on the Venolin. Charade on it. I have an idea then. I'll click Charade then as well. I'll do the same thing. I'll get you the minus four, and then I'll do something. That doesn't do that much damage, so if I get this thing to, like, minus four, this might be okay. Here, I'll do that. Let's do that. So, let's trade him again. He's at minus four now. I could probably threaten him out. I live a hit, so I'm still alive. I can swap. I'm gonna swap now into my Phantom. And I just gotta hope that I've done enough to the point where I can actually get rid of the Luminami. Not Vent, not Luminami. I just hope I do enough so I can actually KO it. So, that didn't do that much damage, actually. So, I'll go for the Nova Blast. Yeah, I'll go for the Nova Blast. He swapped out. He's saving it for later. Went back into Luminami. But, he's just terrible. Yeah, that KOs it. That KOs it. That KOs it. We need to KO it. We need to KO this. We need to KO this. Something's getting injured. He knows, though. He's saving it. Back in the Venom, and he goes. He saved that thing. I get a ranged defense drop. Ranged attack drop, I mean. Which, that's good. But there's kind of nothing else you can really do. Just because he kept the Stratosaur in in an awful matchup that KO'd my entire team. This sucks. This really sucks. Funeri's coming back in so I can heal. Funeri's coming in so I can at least heal. And he goes for a mud spatter. I live a hit because wow. Kinda that's kinda nuts. Rejuvenate. Just get my health back. I have to. Like it's, there's nothing else I can really do here. There's the Borok. This is horrible. This really blows, man. This really sucks. Like, there's nothing I could do. Like, why? I hate this. I'll go for the rest. Because I can't swap. I can't, I can't really do anything anymore. Maybe he'll give me... Maybe he'll give me Borok, but I heavily doubt that. I heavily doubt he's gonna give me Borok. Maybe Light Speed Ray is enough. No, nope, he's saving it because he's gonna go into this stupid thing. Beat me with this thing. Yep, this thing comes in. Well, he's almost out of energy. He is almost out of energy. Maybe I can break through the Venom. Maybe I can break through. Just depends how many mud spatters he has. He has like I didn't do enough. That's nowhere near enough. I'm gonna try Magnify here. It's risky, but I'm doing it. He's out of energy after this turn, which means I get a plus two Magnify now, and I have enough for a Nova Blast and a Light Speed Ray. Uh, it sucks. It's either I Nova Blast. Uh, I have to break the Venolin. I have to break it. Let's do it. Let's try to break the Venolin. If we could break through this, maybe we can have something, but I don't think so. The problem is we don't have enough for light speed. 
We don't have enough for light speed ray. That's the problem. We don't have enough for light speed ray. I'm gonna try it and see if I can get into this battle, but I don't think there's anything I can do there. I'm out of I'm out. I need him to go Luminami here if I really want to win this battle, but he's gonna go Borok. Yeah, he knows! He knows! He knows! He knows! He knows an amount of energy. This sucks. Dang it, this sucks. That really sucks. I wish I was able to use Boonary better, but of course, like, the Stratosaur just didn't want to swap out whatsoever. But let's head into battle number three. Not gonna lie, that last battle was super frustrating, but hopefully this one goes a little bit better. Has an Imperior, ha doesn't have Luminami, doesn't have Venolin, doesn't have a Stratosaur, so that's always a plus. Uh, has a Blowtox though, and that can be very tough to beat if not careful. Uh, no, he does have a Venolin, I, I didn't see it. <laughs> I didn't even see it, but yeah, he does have one. Yeah, this is not gonna be easy at all. This is going to be a pain in the butt, but I think I'm going to lead off with Zulong and see if I get a good lead, and if not, then we'll see where we go from there. The only thing I have that can really... Uh, I mean, Knight can beat it. Yeah, it has Mud Spatter, but Knight can beat it. Let's see who you lead with. Well, I'm elemental bursting, because I want to get rid of this Clossotrops right here, right now. So, I'm e-bursting. I don't care if Venolin comes in, I'm e-bursting because Clossotrops is on the field. Yeah, he swapped out, thank god. Venolin comes on in. Yeah, Venolin. But we're okay, this will still deal a decent chunk of damage. It still does a chunk, so that's good. I kind of don't know what to do from here, though. I'm just gonna Ancient Roar, even though he's probably gonna barter. He's probably gonna barter, but... I think I'm just gonna Ancient Roar, just so I can do a little bit of damage, and then go into Tower Claw. Yeah, he's gonna barter, get rid of my item, but... I, what else could I really do there? Yeah, nothing I could really do there. Especially with... Especially with Colossatrops on his team, which... Actually... Completely. No, he doesn't actually, because I have Boonary. So, Parasitize. Okay, I actually stayed in. He actually stayed in. I actually did a lot of damage. Okay. Like, you don't stay into this matchup. You're gonna go into your. You're gonna go into your Colossatrops. I'm calling it. You have a Colossatrops. Use it. Nope, he didn't do it. Wait, did he? I don't understand that call at all. Why? What was the point of that play? I just can keep parasitizing you. I'll oh, ancient roar again. Dang it! Like, I don't know why he didn't just go into Colossatrops. It's probably a Rageful Plushy one, so I don't know why. I guess unless it's secret ability, but even if it is secret ability, it's still a solid swap in anyway. So yeah, this sucks. This really blows. We'll go for the Parasitize here. He finally swapped. Into Imperior. I don't think I one-shot Imperior, so that's actually okay. I don't think I one-shot you. It's gonna get a crit. Nope, it didn't one-shot it. Thank God. That's big for me. It has Milkshake! Come on! Lame! Well, I'm gonna have to take damage, apparently. Swim Bash won't do too much, so... I'll just get my health. No. No Terra Claw. Thank you! Okay. Now, ah, okay, that's good. I get health back. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna lose health, but I gained some. And I can still save Terra Claw for the Venolin. Because, man, I need this for the Venolin if I want to even have a chance. Imperior's dead, though, and that's a big threat off the field. I could even tempt to go after the Venolin in one-on-one, -on -one, but I don't think it's the best play. Garbantis! Okay, he has a Garbantis, which is really bad, actually. Ah, uh, no! I have Tyronix! I can just go into this thing. I have Tyronix. Use that to our advantage. 
Body Crash? Gotcha. I could even go for a Magnify. Magnify and Aventolin. Yes! Free damage! Free damage. Because, yes, I get a Magnify off. And now, you're severely threatened now. Nova Blast. I don't think I've used Boonary yet. I'm waiting for that Colossatron. Yeah, that's a ton of damage. Critical hit. Thank you. Thank you. Venolin's dead. I don't know what it would have done to me, but that is a huge turn for me. He goes into Sea Drake, which dies to a Frost Beam, so I'm going to use that to our advantage. Again, going to use that to my advantage. Bulk up. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Please KO the Sea Drake in one hit. If not, we're kind of screwed. <laughs> All right, here we go. It lives at no health. It lives at no health. Although, if that is the case, Boonary, because, okay, just hang with me here. Boonary, because, hang with me on this one. He's not Boots, I'm Boots. And I should be able to live the hit well. Coconut Bomb, okay, you're Coconut Bomb one. Okay. This has gotten very interesting. He he actually recoils himself as well. But that's fun. He recoils himself. And I could save Boonary for the Colossatrops. He knows that this is his way to win. He knows it. He knows. That's why he went into this. And he knows that if I give a frail armor boost, I'm screwed. Honestly, I'm going to go into Serenite on this one. This may seem stupid, but I think it's the best play here. One, not only I give him a minus one, I also get him in a situation where... Alright, yeah, there's a bulk up. I can now actually slap down him. Which I will slap down him. I'll actually deal a little damage to him, which... That's important. And the reason why that is important, I don't care that it's... Frail armor. I don't. I actually don't really care. I'm specialty boots. I'm specialty boots. So the Colossatrops is in a tough spot anyway. Goes for the Rogue Assault. I might. No, I don't live that. Oh, and it gets minus boost as well. It gets minus boost. So we're in a great spot here because my Bootary is boot. So Bootary just wins here. I think. Unless you're the one Colossatrops that doesn't have a ancient type move, which, let's be honest, that might be the case. Please have an ancient move that dies. Outburst coming in hot here. Get out of here, Colossatrops. And now, we get the reverse sweep with his Colossatrops. That's what makes Boonary rather scary. I don't use Boonary a lot because, you know, you know how people kind of are with Boonary, so yeah can't really use Rogue Assault, unfortunately. I'll just go for an Outburst, do a little bit more damage, and we have we have two Lumians that outspeed this, so we're good. Battering Ram KOs us. Ah, it stinks, but it's not the end of the world. We go into Zulong, we win with Zulong, and it's over. Or, yeah, we'll just go into Tronix, honestly. Tronix can win it from here. Tronix will win it. I'll just go for a Light Speed Ride, because again, not taking any risks. And that actually was a critical hit and took him out. So, yeah, we were able to win the last battle with Boonary being a massive impact. The second battle didn't go well, but Boonary is definitely pretty good if you use it right. And it's pretty easy to use if there's a setup sweeper, you bring it in. But even then, you gotta damage it first. You gotta damage the setup sweeper, then go into Boonary because, you know... While Boonary does outspeed it, sometimes it doesn't do enough damage, so you gotta be very careful with Boonary. Hope you guys enjoyed this video of me showcasing Boonary, and I will see y'all all later. Bye-bye!